rockets, catapult launching, and learning how to be an astronaut. This is how hundreds of kids spent their day at Peterson Air Force Base at STEM Rocks. Now, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. New at 4.30, Carradio News Channel 13's Carl Winder shows us how kids got a hands-on approach at the event. These rockets are not the real deal, but it gives kids a chance to learn how they work. You've got the main part, the fuselage, which pretty much is the base of the rocket. And then you've got the fins, which creates the aerodynamics, how high it can go, how it spins. 14-year-old Taylor Coffey wants to be in the Air Force. He says teaching young kids how to build paper rockets will help him reach that goal. It teaches me how to work with people and how to teach them to do some stuff. Here at the event, kids not only get to watch the exhibits, they also get to use it. Hundreds of kids got a hands-on approach on why science, technology, engineering, and mathematics are important. Andrew Mayo wants to be an inventor. He says using the objects at the exhibit helps him learn how to be one. It can give me an idea of structures for something I build in the future or um, some of these have different solutions to approach a different problem. Colonel John Shaw says events like STEM Rocks are going to help the U.S. in the future. The future of our nation and the globe are going to rely so much on the ability to continue to do wonderful technical things in the science, technology, engineering, mathematics field. Even though the event is like one big school project, for kids, it was more like a carnival. In Colorado Springs, Carl Winder, Cardio News Channel 13. Looks like a lot of fun. 25 different agencies were at the event to help teach all the kids.